I, I don't know that if any time I, I felt that, that we were a dynasty or were going to be a dynasty, but what, what I always appreciated about those teams while Jimmy was our head coach was one, how talented we were. And, and, and Jimmy's to be credited for that. And as great as a coach, as great of a coach as Jimmy uh, was and is, he, he might have been better at, at assembling our roster and really having an eye for, for getting uh, great value in, in lower rounds. And you could go through a, a list of players that you know, far exceeded where, where they were drafted and what they meant to our, our, our teams. And, and also the way in which we worked. I mean, we worked hard. Uh, we worked hard from the, from the day Jimmy and I arrived. And uh, we did things that a lot of other teams around the league were not doing. And our best players were, were our hardest working players. And so I, I think when you, when you talk about those teams and why we were good, uh, it was because we were really talented, but, but we also worked exceptionally hard. And our best players were our hardest working players. Yeah, the other thing, Troy, and I, this can be a mutual admiration society, but, you know, I, our players, you know, they weren't selfish. Uh, they, it was really a team. People ask and say, okay, who were the great leaders on your team? I said, God, we had so many. I mean, it wasn't like one guy. I mean, you know, you, know, you, you know, Michael, uh, you know, you know, even Gogan. I mean, I, I would throw all of them, you know, Russell, Maryland, you know, yeah. on and on, and on, all of the players that we had, you know, I can name 20 players that were great leaders. And I remember, Troy, uh, our second year, you know, here we had the 115 the first year, and then the second year, looks like we were going to go to the playoffs and you hurt your shoulder. And uh, it, had you not hurt your shoulder, we would have gone to the playoffs that second year. And they had the Pro Bowl voting. I remember we walked out on the field. We sat on that little brick wall right before practice started. And I felt bad. I, I said, you know, Troy, I tried to get you in the Pro Bowl. You know, I'm sorry that you didn't make the Pro Bowl. And you looked over me and said, Coach, you know, don't don't worry about Pro Bowls. You know, you just keep bringing in talented players, and I'll go to plenty of Pro Bowls. I mean, but that's how you were. But that's how our team was. Sorry, it, team was, was, was a great group. Just, and we had we've had. Uh, of course, you went on and coached with the Dolphins and, and a number of our guys, Norv Turner, of course, went on and coached with a number of organizations and you go through the whole list of, of coaches who went elsewhere. But all of those coaches over the years have told me that what we had in Dallas was so unique that it, they never experienced that anywhere else that they went. It, it, it was, you know, you hate to say perfect storm, but it was just the right place at the right time for so many people uh, to achieve what we were able to achieve that maybe none of us, you know, there's always all this talk about you and Jerry, but maybe none of us truly appreciated just what we had at that moment in time because it was so early for us. It came together so quickly yeah. uh, for us, even though those first couple of years were tough, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, Great relationships, great memories, uh, a lot of wins. Um, it was a great time in, in my life, and I know I can say that for a lot of other teammates of mine. Yeah, yeah. the other thing is our guys never accepted losing. You know, uh, I remember, it, I don't know, it was like maybe the fourth or fifth year. We'd already, you know, cinched the playoffs. And uh, we played Washington, and I'm sure you remember it. Yeah, you know, and, and like I said, we're in the playoffs, and I don't know if so-called meaningless game, and and we lost the ball game, and we get on that plane, and you know they were kind of hooping and hollering. One thing, and the gal starts to serve the food. I said, no, no, uh, you're not serving any food. <laughs> they don't deserve to eat. They didn't play, and so they didn't they didn't serve any food on the plane, and. I walked back, you know, back there like I always did after every ball game. And uh, obviously I had a, a few choice words for some guys. But Wanstead asked me the next morning, he said, Coach, he says, weren't you a little hard on them, you know, didn't even serve them food or did? I said, yeah, I said, Dave, I don't care if they hate me. I said, but, you know, when we lose, I want them to be sick to their stomach. I don't want them to accept that. You know, I, I, I want them to just be nauseated when, when we lose. And when we win, hey, they, 
they can do whatever they yeah. want to do, but you know, not when we lose. And, and our guys continually had that feeling. You know, Terry Bradshaw asked me, he said, you know, you were such an SOB, you know, when you were coaching the Cowboys in the second year, how were you there for the second Super Bowl? I said, I was a bigger SOB. And he <laughs> said, well, he said, with all those veterans, if you stayed that third year, would you have lightened up a little on I said, no, I would have been a big risk to be that third year because you got to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And yeah, but that, I, our guys were driven. They were driven. And I think that there are, there, there, there are always those self-starters and then there's those that aren't. And it doesn't matter what level that you're talking about. And I think that, that you know, one of the things you were great at was that it, for those players that it maybe wasn't as, it didn't hurt them as much when we didn't win, you were going to make life so miserable that, <laughs> that they were going to want to win more than they were going to be okay with losing, you know? And, and people ask me all the time, how was Jimmy? And I said, listen, you know, when, when we won and it didn't matter like how, how little we may have won by, or even if we didn't play quite as well, there was nobody that made it more fun on Monday after a win than Jimmy. I said, we celebrated wins. But let me tell you something, when we <laughs> lost, you didn't want to have to walk into that building on Mondays. Jimmy made it a living hell, you know, and, but that was, uh, that was, that was what made it work, you know, and our guys responded to all that. So that was, it carried us, Jimmy, as you know, I mean, even when you left for a number of years, the, the footprint that you left on us and that organization, it carried us uh, for a number of years. and. And then eventually, you know, it, uh, you know, it just eroded. But uh, yeah, that was, it was special. It's hard to believe that it was just five years. You know, huh? that it, was, it was a quick time in our lives, but it was certainly memorable. Yeah, it, I think Troy, we were able to get away with that because we had such a young team. Yeah. Had we had a lot of veterans or maybe free agents from other teams, you know, they might have been a little bit resistant, saying, "Wait a minute, now, hey, you don't need to be such a." you know hard ass you know i mean we had such a young team they accepted it and yeah. they said hey this is the way you do pro football yeah and uh it, like you say it was a special special time uh great great memories and and it's amazing to me that it was a long time ago because it seems like it was yesterday it sure does the football tradition on Fox continues. We get set on Thanksgiving. Alex Smith and Washington take on Zeke and the Cowboys. Touchdown! We celebrate this special day with the game we all love. Thanksgiving Day on Fox.